grabbed it like that. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna be captain. So all y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. He got away with it. But he ain't. You already know what it is, man. Skip the intro. Let's get right to it. We're gonna start this with the mantra hating on me will not get you on TV. That's first of all, we're gonna start there. Shout out to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let that get too far ahead. You know who I be. Shout out to my brother, partner, Showtime SP. All my network partners over at fox5ny.com. We will be back in the building next week. We got a special guest. It's a lot going down. I'm gonna put the episode out of Overtime with Rock probably tonight. And just everything is going on in battle rap. And um, I, got a, I got a little subject to break down and I'll talk to y'all about in a second. But we gonna get right to the topic. I address things when it's time to, and let me remind you, it is time to shout out to Everybody out there that's been hitting me up, that's been shooting me messages, that's been thinking I'm rattled, I'm not. I actually won um, 1,200 off the Bears last night. I put 500 on the Bears, don't ask why. Uh, ticket came back good. Shout out to Bet Life Sports. Follow at Bet Life Sports. He's got great parlays and kind of gives me the game and puts me on track. But let's get right to it, man. So a lot of people was hitting me up about this whole audio thing, audio thing. Did finally, first of all, let me, let me start here. Let me start here. When do y'all think that the URL and whoever's working with them got to a point with me to talk to me about half the shit that's released on their car? Somebody told a lie one day. On that audio. They talking about who this person slept with, who this, who that. Bro, they don't fuck with me like that. I haven't been to an event of theirs since 2016. What would make you think that P or anybody over there would be in a position to call me and just spill out everything? And then niggas, there's a few niggas that actually believed it. You know, the group that uh, bootleg Pat Stays Memorial event, they actually promoted this like I did it. Get washed. They did them just like that, you hear that? That's the lawnmower. We still cutting the grass out here with these snake ass niggas. We still cutting the grass. You know what I'm saying? That's what you hearing. But yeah, he got chopped all the way up. With no proof, not a single ounce of proof. The sources was, trust me, bro. He did it. <laughs> so I woke up this morning, and I don't even do spaces, but I was in a space at seven o'clock in the morning. Like if I show me, show me where, how, who, how. So Verb, who's the person that's starting up. And the funny thing is, Verb is getting spoke about and promoted more than the actual cards that are going down. Lord help me, Jesus, Lord. He's being promoted more than the actual cards. And the funny thing is, I've never spoke to Verb on the phone. I don't have Verbs, no, we don't be texting. I don't speak to him. Cause I keep my relationship with the artist just that. Like if everything that happens, it happens in public. We'll talk, whether it be on Twitter, whether I blog about you, I blog about the shit that I feel like. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this audio, this whole audio thing started being leaked. And the funny thing is these conversations that he has, he has them with them. I heard five or six different people saying that they had the same conversations. But I know them niggas don't like me. So therefore it was like, it, they was adamant about it too. Like we got the proof and we got the this niggas had nothing. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. Just talking, talking, talking. And I guess one of them is probably in a space with 200 people in there talking crazy like niggas give a fuck. We don't do the same views. That's why I'm not here to talk about you, any of y'all. Niggas is insignificant. So moving along, right? Verb goes on and says, Vodafly is not the person who recorded the PMP3. I wouldn't lie to y'all. Y'all tripping for no reason. And I will tell you this. Three out of the four recordings on P are new URL guys. One being y'all group and in y'all spaces too. I don't care how they feel because that's the truth. But 100% Vada is clean. Easy replies. They should have knew it wasn't him. Vada ain't F with them for a while, so P talking to him like that wouldn't make sense. Then it says, people are saying it was him. You all don't seem to F with him not like that because he not a yes man. Whoever he was on the phone with, he clearly f with like that to let it fly. I don't understand. Like, I don't. Um, I'm not, I wasn't mad, you know what I'm saying? Like the Bears won last night, my parlay went through, I got another one going down tonight, you know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really angered about the situation because it only brings you more clout. Like more people follow me, more people hit me up. Like if you don't like somebody, don't talk about them. They'll, they'll kind of go away. If 
if you don't like someone, don't talk about them. Don't talk about them. Let them disappear. But see, the thing is, you know, when the hate don't work, they start telling lies. Them niggas been hating on me forever. I never talk about them. I never blog about these niggas. I don't give a fuck about nothing they got going on. But they always find a way to have something to say about me. You know what I'm saying? This shit is crazy. I don't even talk about these niggas. I don't know these niggas. I never seen any of them in my life. I blocked them all today. I blocked them, their whole crew. If you want to be down with them, get blocked too. I, I don't have no time for that type of negative energy, especially when you be lying on a nigga with no proof. It's, it's straight corny. And then, and I'm going to just say this. Like I said, shout out to everybody who reached out, everybody who knew it was a, a, a sham, a, a hoax, or whatever the case may be. And this message is for P2. Stop talking to niggas. Stop talking to all of these random people so you don't have to get to a point where you don't know who you spoke to and now I feel they feel like niggas is just reaching for straws at this point. The nerve of you. <laughs> you That's know, like disrespect. It. That's Oh, he spoke to this person this year? Had to be him. Don't put yourself in a position as to where you don't know who the fuck you spoke to. And don't blame it on me. For real. I, you know what I'm saying? Don't put that shit on me. Y'all take that shit up the street. We got canceled Christmas coming up. The whole event, me and myself and Showtime SP will be doing the pay-per-view stream. Shout out to Chrome and everything that's involved. But I seriously mean it. Like, P has to stop talking to all these random motherfuckers and not knowing who he spoke to. Then now y'all start drawing for straws. And he's probably the one that's telling him, oh, I think it was him. I'm sure it was probably him that's telling them that that's how he feels. But the funny shit is, the man with the audio, the man who got this shit is telling you Vada had nothing to do with it. But you believe some niggas from Bootleg Pat State's memorial event telling you it was me. Brother, please, get out of here. Get out of here, man, shit, you know I'm saying? Focus on the event. Y'all have a whole event coming up next Sunday and there's virtually no promotion. Verb has got the promotion in the lock. And the reason why they try to throw it at me, because I'm not Verb's enemy. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not on a hate campaign. I'm not riding against him. I'm not doing none of that shit. So it makes it seem, like, more probable. Like, he could have did it. Like, nah, nigga. Remove that shit off the table. I think it's a crunchy, it's nasty work, and the shit shouldn't be happening. And y'all know I don't even be talking to these niggas. I might talk to these niggas one, two, three times a year. I don't talk to these niggas. We're not friends. I don't go to their events. So why would he feel so compelled to give me all of it? And if he did, if he was to do some wild shit like that, like just tell Vada Fly everything you know, he sound crazy. None of you battle rapper niggas say something to me. I'm too, I'm serious too. I'm talking to him and you niggas be sensitive and I'm saying the truth. Leave me alone. I like most of y'all. What the fuck are you trusting me for? I'm not friends. We're not friends. We speak about battle rap adversarial shit every now and then. But please, 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 if you the one that's putting that shit out to them niggas, you need to stop that shit because never, never, never. When have I ever spoke to you about anybody's relationships, about who they be sleeping with? About, when have I ever spoke to you about that? That shit has nothing to do with me. I don't give a fuck about none of that. I'm on TV. Why would I care about what's going on with these niggas? You know what I'm saying? So shout out to everybody out there that reached out to me, hit me up. It's the only time I'm going to address it. I'm not addressing this shit 15 times. You know what I'm saying? I got no free clout to give out. So that's why I'm not going back and forth. Niggas can make their little 100 viewer space and talk about me as long as they want. Really what we talking about, this is whole shit. I don't give a fuck. Moving along. And uh, like I said, Easy had replied, Verb had replied, a bunch of fans replied, and everybody knew what the fucking word was. And that, you know, that shit is a lie. You know what I'm saying? I, I hate OTFMT. Like, y'all, this is the shit y'all promoting? Y'all gonna promote this lie? You know it's not true. They said, oh, we posted what you said, we posted what he said. Yada, they do that messy shit. Fucking National Enquirer. They, 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 they do the messy shit, so they got me up there with a lie attached to my name. They know it's a lie, but people will still watch it. People will still engage with it. So that's some whole ass shit, too. So anyway, moving along. Um, Ryder, shout out to Ryder and everything that he's got going on. Looks like he's left URL. Uh, he, see, he made a statement today that says, uh, Shout out to Smack Beasley for all the opportunities they gave me in my career, but I'm no longer affiliated with the URL brand. Ryder, watch out. They about to get you next. They are about, you left, you left the Illuminati, they gonna get you next, my nigga. Shout out to Ryder. Uh, it looks like Ryder's gonna start pursuing his own opportunity. I've been telling him this for like the last couple years. It seems like he's just getting to a point where he's ready to go out there and see what's available. My thing is this, you know, uh, when you know your talent, you know your worth, you can always find a bag out there. You're going to always be able, Ryder's going to be able to get booked. He's going to have no issue being booked. Is he like a huge main stage summer madness type of superstar? No. 
But can he definitely get busy in some of these leagues and some of these? Of course he can. He can definitely. Easy already hit him. Said, well, come to the trenches. I can see right on the trenches. K. Walker, Riggs, a lot of folks is over there. He already battled Mike P. Uh, and, and he could definitely continue to excel and move on in his career. Because URL is not the end all be all to anything that's going on. You know what I'm saying? Most niggas could move somewhere else. You don't like what's going on here? It's like the job market. If you don't like what's going on at one company, go to another company, work for them or whatever the case may be. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure the future is bright for Ryder, you know what I'm saying? The future will be bright and he'll be able to do some things. You just seen Mike P leave URL and then he started flourishing, doing his own thing. And that's my thing at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I just hope people could, you know, grind, get to their bag, get to their money, and do the things that they gotta do. But uh, overall, uh, salute to every single one. Why, where's the promotion for the events, bro? Niggas is promoting lies about <laughs> More than they promoting their own event. Y'all niggas got an event coming up in fucking two, or well, less than a week and a half. And this is the talk of the day. That's how I know Verb is in these niggas' heads. But see, the thing is, he's not my enemy. He is not my enemy, and I will continue to cover his side of the war. If they come out and say they side, I'll cover their side because I really don't give a fuck. But don't try to drag me in it like, oh, God, blah, 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 blah. So these are the same niggas that said, said some dumb shit. What did these niggas say? Oh, Vada's the one that got surf locked up. That was another lie that them niggas ran with, right? What kind of shit this here? They said I was a federal agent and I got surf locked up. But I'm a blogger every day. Surf's family is out here. His mans is out here. His homies is out here. Niggas that rock with him is out here. And they never said nothing on my name that would even affiliate me with some shit like that. And these niggas got the nerve to run with it. The same niggas who bootleg Pat Stays Memorial event. And see, the problem that I got is... Where I'm from, these niggas say they from certain places, but where I'm from, we don't play with shit like that. We do not put nobody's name involved with no shit like that without definitive proof, paperwork, you know what I'm saying? A, a statement that was actually made. These niggas just do it for likes on fucking Instagram and likes on Twitter. That's what they do it for. They'll, they'll literally will throw your name in some shit that'll have you in some real shit in the streets, you know what I'm saying? You'll really get into it, and these niggas be home and laying in bed drinking hot cocoa after lying on your name. <laughs> I'm, I'm a shout out to everybody out there that knows that these niggas is on some bullshit. They been hating from the gate. I don't talk about these niggas, and I don't want to and continue talking about them. I think it's lame. I think it's hella whack, you know what I'm saying? Y'all do your little 3,500 view blogs and leave my name the fuck out of it. Other than that, man, salute to every single one of y'all out there. I'll be back with my brother Showtime SP. I will be back on TV next week, and then I got another guest coming after that. We're gonna close the year strong. Uh, Jazz the Rapper is our next guest next week. They'll probably hate on that, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, do remember, if you don't remember nothing from this blog, nothing, 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 hating on me, will not get you on TV. I'm just telling you that. Because if it wasn't me, it wasn't going to be you. I, told, I spoke to the producers. They ain't fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to be honest. They ain't fuck with y'all. You know what I'm saying? So you being so, 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 so mad at me is not going to do nothing for you. It's not going to help you. I promise you. You can, you can yell in spaces till the world stops spinning. And I'm going to still keep on grinning. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to the Bears. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the city of Chicago. All the niggas that fuck with me out there. All the real niggas out there. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Gang, gang, gang. Rah. Niggas really ran with the line. <laughs> oh, Y'all had me in spaces at 7 o'clock. Man, I was there early, too. I don't even, that was the first time I ever be in spaces. Like, I don't even be there. Y'all had me there early. For what? Nothing. Shout out to SP, though. He called me laughing. I laughed calling him and shit like that, too. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, niggas will make up a story and just run with it. But, uh, ha-ha, <laughs> how that work?